Well, aging conditions and crowded quarters at the main station are causing added challenges for Bemidji's fire department. Those at the fire station are looking to show these conditions to help the public understand how a building can affect the people. Reporter Mary Ballstead has more. The general public doesn't really get a first-hand look at what of the actual conditions inside this building. No office space, makeshift sleeping areas, and a bathroom that takes one back to the 70s are just some of the issues one can see if they visit the Bemidji Fire Station. So this building was probably state-of-the-art back in the 70s. Um, you know, at that time, there wasn't as many fire calls. Uh, we didn't have as many staff in the building, but now as we get into, you know, 2023 and we look to the future, the needs of Bemidji's fire department is increasing. The public is demanding more of us. The deteriorating conditions extend to the exterior of the building as well, as the garage doors have one mismatched and with it being an over 50 year old building, it is not ADA compliant to modern standards. We're doing the best we can. Um, our members are taking pride in it in you know, the paint looks fantastic. We're doing a lot of cleaning, but there are some things we just can't repair anymore. Last year, just on the exterior, we spent almost $10,000 just on replacing bricks that are simply falling off. The issues presented do not only affect current personnel, but how the department intends to recruit and retain future employees. Mental health is a huge thing in the fire service right now. And after a stressful day of calls, firefighters sometimes need a place to retreat to where they can decompress, if you will. And the only private space they have is by these half partition walls and a curtain. Now the question remains, should the department look at a new facility or continue to play catch up with the repairs and place the proverbial bandage over a bullet hole? Bemidji is a regional center and it's growing and it's exploding and um, it's time to to reflect that in our facilities here. Reporting from Bemidji, Mary Balsted, Lakeland News. Chief Sherwood invites the public to contact the department if you'd like to tour the facility and see its conditions firsthand. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.